for for someone who's trying to like put, you know, they're trying to like shape a mobility program. Maybe, maybe they just started moving folks and, and they're wanting to continue to elevate that. What, what does a successful mobility program look like? Just give me a couple of things that you look at, maybe look at your program and say, Hey, these are a couple of things we do uh, to make sure that it's, uh, that's what success looks like. Yeah, there, there's one question, you know, on surveys, I hate long surveys that we do nothing with the information, okay? Let's be honest about it. We ask 100 questions and we do nothing with it. There's one question on our short survey that asks, if you had to relocate again, would you use this company again? Mm. And that's the key, okay? Because even if you had issues, even if you had issues with that, we have a lot of people that would still say they would use them again because of how they were treated throughout the process. Okay, so what I would say to individuals that are starting programs is to not overcomplicate relocation. When you start to overcomplicate, it gets to be a tough job. And what I mean by overcomplicate is, I'm not a fan of the point system. I'm not, I, I don't know what you know benefit that brings, okay, the point system. And a lot of times you can get caught up in this and spend more time than trying to understand how do you give the employee the best experience? And at the end of the day, the number one thing is household goods. Mm -hmm. That is the number one thing you can tell me all you want about apps and you can tell me all you want about different reports or whatever. But at the end of the day, your household goods moves makes or breaks your program. Mm 